Welcome to this MLS listings training video on automated emails or what we also call auto emails. I'm going to take you through the the setup and then of the search itself and then walk you through how to change that into a auto email to go to a client could even go to yourself you can uh, you can assign an auto email to yourself um, if you want to get changes in the marketplace or always have an idea with you via your email package maybe on your phone to let you know what's active in your marketing area and then we're also going to go over how to manage that auto email how to maybe change the title or change the criteria your client changes um, their mind they now want four bedrooms how do I change it from three to four so let's go ahead and get started I'm gonna set up a basic search here in the basic matrix search screen we're gonna be looking for active single-family homes my client has told me that you know they minimum they need three um, but they'll take more if they can get it depending on the price range they're working in so I'm gonna say three plus um, that's gonna give me the threes the fours the fives the sixes and so on um, if I just left the three in there then the only thing I would get it is three bedroom homes but like I said maybe there's a four bedroom home available in that community and within that price range that your clients looking for let's go ahead and put two on the on the baths but they'll take more gonna put a plus sign after that you can go ahead and continue filling in specifics um, certainly in all of these categories or even advanced categories down here at the bottom of the page if I go down below the the results tab there are all my additional fields that really allow me to tailor or filter this listing down to just those listings that the the clients looking for okay so we want minimum three bedrooms minimum two full baths now my client let's go back over here over to the left hand side of the page um, my client has said they they're qualified up to a million dollars and um, what I would recommend I always say search big search bigger than a million because if I only put a million in right here and I put 800,000 to a million as an example well what happens if there's a listing at one million and one dollars you would you'd miss it so you know always go up a little higher let's take this up to one five because um, like I said maybe there's one at 1.1 million and we wouldn't want to miss that then we come down to location once again some nuances to look choosing in locations you never want to search too small and always remember that you may work in the M what are called MLS areas right here but the consumer does not know the MLS areas they don't have access to them they're probably going to be working in the you know more along a city or possibly certain zip codes within a city and certain towns like or cities like San Jose have multiple zip codes depending on do you want the east side the west side the Blossom Hill area Alma Dan Willow Glen so you really need to check with your client to find out how are they searching on those third-party websites so that you can tailor your search the same way in this case at, at 800 to 1.5 I'm gonna I'm gonna put in Campbell okay and if we go all the way down to the bottom left hand corner of the page we see we've got 18 matches and let's go get those results before I can do anything before I can print or email or get driving directions you always got to go to those results first now we want to set this up into an auto email to keep keep our client informed of this price bracket in the city of Campbell and also with that that got to have three bedrooms got to have two but look we've got some fours here we talked about that they're you know in that price range boy they want three but we could give them four in fact here's one at five right here so uh, always tailor that bed bath count so you're you know you got a minimum but always put a plus sign behind it because you never know what's gonna what you can get better for your client okay let's go through that auto email process going all the way down to the bottom left corner of the screen down here to the save button now I have three different options here to work with I've got new save search here on the far left if I choose that I'm going to have to log back in in order to get the answer the question will have been asked but I will need to log back in to get that answer in this case we're going to use the one right next to it the new auto email option 
Now, the first thing to do, of course, is choose, a, choose the contact name. Note that you have two items here that are in uh, highlighted in yellow. That means that you have to put something there. There needs to be something in that data field. So I'm going to go ahead and I can choose myself. Um, here's I'll choose Robert and Jane Bustamante. Now, if I didn't have my client in, I could go ahead and add them right here with the Create a New Contact button. And let's show you that real quick. Once again, only the highlighted items need to be filled in, just the first name, last name, and an email address. There is more available. You can come down and see more. This is sort of like a, con a very small contact management system um, that's built right into Matrix. So, but not, not necessary. As I said, just first name, last name, and the email address right here. Let's go ahead and jump out of that. So, drop down menu for all your contacts that are in the system already. Create a new contact right there. You can CC somebody. Um, this one's going to uh, Robert's email address right here. But if Jane had a separate email address, you could put Jane's email address right there. Also, I we leave this checked. It comes to you checked, and I highly uh, suggest that you leave it checked. Always makes it easier for when, if you're talking to Robert, and Robert said, oh, it's the third one down on the list. You guys are both looking at the same um, the same list um, to make that conversation easier. Just like any, e any email, you'll need a subject line. And let's come down to the messaging that's available. Now, these messages that are built into both the welcome email and the reoccurring email, these are customizable. We, we put these paragraphs in for you, but absolutely you could take them out. And I'll go ahead and just delete this. If I wanted to, and I could put my own welcome message in there. And remember that the welcome message, that goes with the email the first time it goes out. After that, the second and all subsequent emails receive the reoccurring message. And once again, you can customize this if you need to. You'll see my signature down here at the bottom, and I can edit that signature uh, just below. So if yours doesn't have the picture or doesn't have your company name and your contact information, you can always edit it right from there. And we currently have two languages built into our system. This is May of 2017, and we will be adding Spanish pretty soon. Um, we'll certainly keep you informed of that on the pro.nlslistings.com homepage. The criteria. Um, this is the question that you asked of the matrix search tool, and it's always going to be out looking for the answer to this question. Let's move down to the concierge setting, the settings area, and talk about concierge. Let me give you an example. You have uh, Robert is a very picky buyer, and Robert only wants a very specific type of house in a very specific neighborhood and he doesn't want to be up against the main street. He wants to be more back in a cul-de-sac and you know better have the right colors on the um, interior on the walls because he doesn't want to have to paint all those little tiny little details that Robert is interested in. Well you may not want to send Robert every single answer to the search you put in. You may want to go through all those answers, all those results and choose the ones that best fit Robert's needs and then delete the ones that you know will not fit Robert's needs. That's what concierge service is. So if you enable concierge service, and I will write down here, if you enable concierge service, you will also be asked if you want to get an email alert. This is a alert that would go to your email address letting you know that results are available for Robert in this case and you would need to come back to your keyboard, back to your laptop, and log into the system, review the listings that are, have been chosen for Robert, and decide which ones move forward. We'll show you that in a second here. The next box down is not uh, clicked. It says show this on reverse prospecting results. Reverse prospecting is the ability of the listing agent to see what other agents have been using his listing in their search results. So um, if you'd like to be involved in that program, you would go ahead and check that box and that way all the listing agents whose listings you move forward to your client um, will have a report on that. Okay, um, 
enable as a favorite search on the dashboard this one's really important you'll see that it comes in unchecked I am gonna check it what that does is it takes this search that you're doing and come all the way up to the upper left hand corner of the screen it's going to put it in your favorite searches box on your dashboard and just makes it easier to find if for some reason you don't check that box and you try it you come back into the system to look for that auto email it's going to be over here on the my matrix tab instead and it's going to be right here under auto emails okay let's go back down to the bottom of the page and I'm going to put Robert and Jane here in the in the subject line okay now remember we're in concierge mode meaning it's going to come the listings are going to come to me first before I before I approve them and move to Robert let's go see what that looks like it is now saved the search for me and it's asking me to move through these listings to see if they meet Robert's needs so you would need to open maybe open up Harrison here using their MLS number review the listing decide if it's what um, would fit one of Robert's uh, requirements or all of Robert's requirements okay and if it does um, you simply put a check mark right up here in this upper corner okay you can move on to the next listing uh, from here on this uh, toolbar okay. you can change the display of the listings right now I'm looking at it in the agent full mode I could go back and look at it in that agent one line display if I want to okay and once again there's that check mark we put on Harrison uh, when we were looking at the full listing so you would move through these listings um, deciding which ones move to Robert and when you're done you'd simply um, approve the selected ones and those would move off to your client and the remainder would stay um, in the search area for you <clears throat> I'm gonna click the done button over here in the bottom corner let's take a look at that auto email process once again except this time we'll do it in standard mode we will not click the concierge mode well these listings these results will go directly to the client so once again I'm gonna put uh, Robert needs three bedrooms let's come down the list this time we will not engage the concierge mode um, which means we will then get this schedule area it's currently set on the daily tab and it's set to deliver in the morning report only this is roughly about 8 30 in the morning Pacific Standard Time you can also choose all of the the afternoon uh, delivery times that's 6 30 in the evening and then certainly you can click these on or off to indicate just deliver them some days in the morning don't you know don't bother the client any day on Saturday or any time on Sunday you can pick and choose the times you need let me go ahead and use the little broom down here to clear all those out your other option is right up here on the left hand side ASAP that means within 15 minutes after a new listing or a listing meets the results of your search your client would be sent an email um, letting him know that that one listing is now available for him to view I recommend that if you're searching in a very large area let's say all of the city of San Jose and you want all three bedroom homes you may not want to click ASAP because that would be sending every single three bedroom home in San Jose that comes up your client would get a separate email you may want to bundle that up into more of a daily report either in the morning in the evening or both the monthly option right here that's if you just want to drip um, what we call drip emails onto your client remind them that you're out there working for them they may not be ready to buy a home right now but perhaps keep them in touch with what's going on in their neighborhood and so that they pay you know they they have a good idea of what their pricing is at any given time and they can always contact you back and they've got your email right there to get your contact information managing the search is quite easy um, or managing the auto emails quite easy 
As I said, you would come back up to your My Matrix tab here in the upper left-hand side of the screen and come down to Auto Emails. Here's the email that we just put through for Robert. The circle, the green circle with the white center indicates that it is an active search in place, um, but Robert has, um, has not accepted the email yet. So once he does, this will turn to solid green uh, with a check mark in it. Um, if Robert does not agree to accept the email um, or is inactive for more than 60 consecutive days, this will turn to a red circle letting you know that that search has been disabled. If you need to change the question, uh, maybe Robert now, um, he's, he got a great raise, he's able to go up in price a little bit, you would use this drop down menu to open up Robert's search. The settings, those were the settings of the email itself, what email address you were using, what was the, the subject line of the email, what were the delivery times of that email. You would want to, in this case, go to the criteria tab to change the question. Let's bump Robert up now. Um, he's going to change his pricing. He can go all the way up to 1.9. 1 um, you would go ahead all the way down to the bottom of the screen. Let me move it up a little bit so you can see it. You would need to resave this search. It will walk you back through that auto email process just to make sure everything um, works for you still. You would have the option of changing from concierge service to standard delivery. Just let the listings flow as they come in. In this case, we are in the, the concierge mode, so you would need to go once again to the save and go to approvals button to send off any new listings to Robert. If you have additional questions regarding any of our functionality or some additional um, information needed here on the auto email functionality, please feel free to contact us via email at prodev at mlslistings.com.